name is Greg Briggs, and I'm gonna do an unboxing video of the Plogic Tiller Autopilot System. I've never done a video like this before, but my daughter, when she was like three, she's four now, when she was three, she used to watch these Barbie unboxing videos for hours on end. I never quite figured out what she was getting out of it until I was ordering this autopilot, and I had no idea what it came with, and so I thought, gosh, I wish, wish there was an unboxing video for it. So I said, well, I'll follow what you like to watch. I'll make one so that you, if you're thinking about ordering one, will know what you get in the box. So the order I'm gonna be opening is for this. It's for the full Plagic Autopilot system with tiller drive, um, a cover for the tiller actuator, a cover for the control head, and then the remote control upgrade. It came to a total of $1,071.95. And uh, I just thought that it was gonna be a great investment because I realized when I'm selling with my kids and such, it's really difficult to adjust the sales while also trying to keep the boat going straight. So here's the box as it comes, as it arrives to you. It's about 24 inches by six by six and weighs maybe 15 or 20 pounds. And let's see what we've got in here. The box took about maybe a month to get here, maybe a little bit longer, so plan on that if you're ordering. Maybe uh, delivery times go up. I don't think it's gonna be like Amazon, be there the next day. All right, what do we got here? We've got, okay, one plastic bag here. We've got some type of wiring harness. We've got some caps some hardware, we've got some type of control head, then this looks like the actuator arm we're going to go with, and then, oh, uh, like there's more stuff in here, here is a, another piece that looks a lot like that one. Okay. The box seems to be empty now. Okay, so here's what we've got then. We've got a computer control panel. We've got hardware, a harness. These are like my covers and remote controls. And then I ordered the actuator arm, and then I also ordered a spare, so if I'm in a position where it breaks, I can replace it. I was also worried about if I have this for 10 or 15 years and then it breaks and I need new parts, I will have it all ready. So that's kind of long-term thinking, let's see how it works out. So let's start with these. I'm gonna be installing this on a 25-foot Catalina, and I'm uh, not that much of a sailor. I've been sailing for like about a year. I've done maybe about 20 days on my boat, and it just seems real important to have this so I don't have to be stuck at the wheel the entire time while I'm out. So there's the primary one pin connector. Here's my spare. Damn near the same except for it doesn't have the bracket or this wiring clip or this uh, head on here. Connector. All right this looks like multi-pin connector and pretty basic. It's probably gonna mount that under the somewhere. And then in here it looks like our control head. Okay. So we've got just the basic control head. You can see that. It also looks like the main uh, display is has these little hatches on them on it for uh, mounting it. So if you get your fingernail in there you can pop that open. It looks like that's gonna give you access to a screw. So you can mount it fairly easily somewhere and have those screws protected and still have a very flush mount. And then we've got this last bag. Which is remote controls and this. And our last bag of hardware right here. We can open it up. It is pretty basic. A bushing. This looks like a connector for on the deck. And I think that's it. I'll have to dig through and see if there's anything else. Put your something here. Okay. I see nothing else in there. I don't see any instructions 
or anything to show me what to do. So I guess that's all going to have to be on the website. So if you're going to install one, I'd say make sure you have uh, access to the internet. And I also don't see how this is going to attach onto my tiller handle. But I've got time to figure this out. have this mounted somewhere near your power source. It's going to run out to this cable. This is not the sharpest razor blade I've ever had. Okay, so it looks like this is how the setup's going to go in order to make it work. We've got our um, main controller here that um, will plug into your battery and your power source. This has about a 20 foot long cable. 6, 12, just 12, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, 20, 20 put the cable. This cable is going to run to your control box, which will have to be somewhere where you can see it. And this will plug right into the back of here. From the control head, it'll run into here. And then from here, this is going to have to run into the actuator. I have this little bracket right here that will mount somewhere on the boat on the outside. On the inside, you've got three wires that plug in and I'll figure out which three wires those are. And then from the three wires here, it will come out where the actuator is going to do the, uh, where the actuator is gonna hook onto here. And then this wire, it looks like from the, where that's located to where the actuator is going to be, it's going to be about, I don't know what we're gonna call it, six feet? four feet, 56, oh, there's another little bit there too, but probably 56 inches. And then from there, we'll mount this on the boat. It'll probably slide into this bushing. Then this will have to go out and attach to my tiller handle at some point. As soon as I get to the actuator, there's this pin that I found in the boxes. It looks like this is gonna slide in here somehow. And then it'll be out to the tiller handle to give you your control. So look and see when I get home and have access to the internet as to what it does. It's got several threaded ends here, threaded end there, threaded end here, and then um, another non-threaded one here. All right, so in summary, it all looks really solidly built. Uh, everything I was kind of expecting to come came, except for a way to attach this to the tiller handle, which, we, which I'll investigate to see if it's this pin. And then uh, that's about it. Hopefully it installs really quickly. install of it just to let you know how it goes all right thanks for watching also if you subscribe to my channel you can see my follow-up video where I'm going to do the install of it I'm not sure when I'm gonna get to that maybe this week maybe in the winter but uh, it should be coming out later okay.